Okay, welcome to Himmelsdorf. Now, this map is very, very small, and um, honestly, it's not really very good for light tanks. Um, or even TDs for that matter. Like, you can get away with it, but honestly, this really does favour tanks that have armour and that can go hold down, or just in general have a lot of hit points that they can actually use. Um, the main points is going to be in this square here. That's going to be where I would suggest the light tanks go at the start of the map, just to try and get some vision down here. You can also go to the left here and go down and get vision here. Um, there's no point going on this bit here in the light tank. Just don't. Um, you're going to die pretty fast. Um, on top of the hill, do not go there in a the light tank. It, it serves zero purpose um, because medium tanks are going to go up there and they're going to be able to like spot across anyway, so it doesn't really make any sense. And if you want to spot over here, then you might as well go to the middle in this square because there's lots of cover that you can go to. <clears throat> Heavy tanks are going to go down this uh, line here, this banana line um, or banana road. Uh, you can go to the hill, although you're going to need a fast heavy tank to do so. Um, and I really wouldn't recommend it uh, unless you absolutely see an opportunity to go there. Um, but at the start of the game, just go here uh, in your heavy tanks because this is where the majority of the other heavy tanks are going to be. Around here and around this side is going to be where the most heavy tanks are. Uh, a few are going to go to the hill, but honestly, most, the majority of them are way too slow so there's no point of sending them up here. Um, and by the time that they do get up here, either your team's won and you're going to get zero damage because you're too far behind, or your team's lost and then you're going to get absolutely swarmed by the uh, amount of tanks coming down. Uh, TDs, there's a spot here that you can shoot down here. Um, I mean, you can try and go to the hill, but as soon as your team loses it, you're dead. Um, there's also... You know, these these trying to rail lines here that you can go to and try and get some shots across. Again, this is not really a very good TD map. Um, you can go to the middle and try and just shoot what you can. Um, but yeah, uh, let's now get into the actual spots of the map. Okay, now the first spot that I'm going to show you is a little bit, um, well, it's a little bit different. Now, what, what I like to do right at the start of the game is just go up here. Um, because one, you're elevated right the way over this kind of fountain um, and anyone that's coming down here is going to get spotted by you. Now the reason being is there's not too many light tanks positions in this map. Um, the more safer position for that is up here. Um, however, you're not going to get very, very good spots and you're going to need to have kind of a tall tank to be able to see them, um, as you can see. Um, that's the very tiny gap that you'll see. Um, it does work better than being up here if you actually want to spot people at the back because you have more view range. Um, but at the same time, if people are a lot faster, then you're not going to be able to get them straight away. Um, so this spot is better. Uh, that spot, more kind of experimental um, and just see what happens. I've had good spotting games, or at least I've spotted quite a few people. Um, before by going up here. Uh, you don't need to have a very very fast tank. You can even um, kind of get rid of this tree um, and then you'd have a lot more view range. You're going to get spotted no matter what. Um, even if uh, you can just do that. Uh, even if you get up here um, without being spotted, as soon as someone comes down this road you're spotted. So you need to back off and then go down behind this building I would recommend because it's the closest. Um, don't go to try and go over there because then you have to cross the road um, wait until you're unspotted and then you can just appear up somewhere else um, you could sit in this bush although it doesn't really serve any purpose because you're just gonna get you're just gonna spot people over there and they're way too close anyway so as soon as they come up close you're gonna need insane insane camera rating to be able to not get spotted there um, another position that you can go to is up here same thing you can kind of spot people, um, but you kind of can't at the same time. Anyone that comes down that middle road, you will be able to spot, uh, including people that go through there. Um, as you can see through here, you have a direct line down on that road. So if they turn right here, then they will um, you, they'll get spotted. And if they turn left, then they'll get spotted as well because you have an open bit there. So both those spots can work. Honestly, 
that's pretty much it for light tanks besides being ultra annoying and just kind of doing this kind of thing and just going around actively spotting um, I wouldn't recommend you go anywhere over here um, unless you're doing active spots because there's no point of sitting still out here it's way too open um, now you can try and go behind trains and stuff um, but it's just not going to work overall light tanks on this map are pretty much useless it's one of the worst light tank maps in the game um, and you need to go for damage more than spotting because it's impossible nearly to get any spotting damage because everyone can spot everyone um, you don't even need maximum 445 um, view range to be able to do this or your spotting range um, so yeah overall depends on what what light tank you're in um, if you're in a very very low profile tank you might have a very unfortunate and interesting game because you won't be able to actually use these two positions because you'll be too low down um, but just see what happens honestly if you're going to use a light tank just ban this map it's not worth it at all okay so for the light tanks i'm going to show you the hill first as we've already kind of shown you over here um, now i will show you over here apart from the fact that it's not really too useful but the main point for medium tanks is definitely the hill um, if you can control the hill in your medium tank and you've got a medium tank that's fast enough um, if not if you're in like a 430u then you might as well just go down here um, as well, you sort of need gun depression up on the hill but also kind of don't at the same time so it's just up to you of whether you want to go up there um, but the hill is where you want to be um, why well one you can actually fight everyone else that's come to the hill um, and then you can shoot down on anyone that's over here um, and two once you win the hill then you can get flanking shots on people that are over here which are going to be with the heavy tanks now the first thing you're going to do once you come up to here is that you just want to peek it you don't want to go all the way across um, never go like like this where you go all the way in because you'll expose yourself way too much um, if you're going to go uh, kind of straight in then make sure you go down here um, and don't show yourself and then you can go around here or if you want to go there then you can go around and kind of maneuver that way um, but from here you can get shots on people that are trying to push through um, you can also go up to this position here and shoot down on people that are around here or alternatively shoot down on people down here however there's going to be people doing the exact same thing on this side so you want to kind of have a battle here and then once you win this then you can really shoot down on people that are over there um, once you win the hill completely you kind of have free reign over this uh, kind of section of the map as you can see here so there's plenty of shooting positions that you can go to to get shots on people that are down below you just need to be aware there's lots of dips here um, so if you do get a whole down tank um, and you're stuck up here it's going to be hard for you to deal with them um, especially in like a 430u but at the same time you could get shot from behind so you want to keep that in mind at all times um, the hill is very open but also can give you cover if you know what you're doing um, the only other thing is, and this is exactly the same for both sides so that's why I haven't kind of shown you the other side um, is because of that um, you'll notice that I've kind of I didn't show you any light tanks for the other side because it's exactly the same like there's two spots there you just go there it's not really rocket science this map it's pretty symmetrical although it's kind of not at the same time um, you'll notice that it, that's the theme of this map it's kind of is but kind of isn't for a lot of things it's like the hill it kind of does give you cover but then kind of doesn't give you cover at the same time um, for light tanks you can kind of get spotting but then you kind of can't so yeah this map is just not very good for light tanks um, and I would recommend you ban it if you plan on doing a light tank session for four hours just ban it um, and then just unban it when you're not playing light tanks um, but yeah from here if you've got a hold down tank like the UDES um, then you can go here and then just, just shoot down on people um, or you can go all the way down exactly the same goes for this side um, I will show you over there in a second but from here you get good spotting um, you can go straight across um, but you can go and spot anyone that's over there especially if they're in that corner bit here uh, that can be quite difficult to actually like dig people out from um, so you can spot them 
um, and you can shoot people that are down there. So honestly, you just have a lot of um, kind of positions that you can go to with the hill. And then once you win the hill, then you can actually go down and start doing a lot of damage on people. Um, I will quickly show you the other side. Okay, so once you win this side, you have a very nice spot right here. Um, from here, you can actually shoot anyone that's along here. A bit like over this bit over here, where you can shoot anyone there. Um, with this, it's a lot more open. Um, and you can kind of not go hold down like you sort of can up there. Um, but it still works because there's going to be plenty of heavy tanks around here that are just battling it out. So you can get easy shots on them from up here. Um, don't jump off here, okay? I see so many people that are just jumping off here. Why? I don't know. But it's not worth it. There's a very nice and easy road right here to get down, okay? And you can do exactly the same as the other side by going around and flanking the enemy heavy tanks. Good driving, Max. Um, but you can go around here and go down here and then you can get easy flanking shots on people that are still surrounded over here. So either stay up there, up, up there, or you can go down here and then get shots on people that are still battling it out down the banana road. Speaking of banana road, let's now move on to the heavy tanks. Okay, so now for the heavy tanks. Um, you'll also notice that I didn't show anything over this side, just simply because it's not really worth it to go along here, um, just because it's way too open. And I'm going to show you this side for the TDs um, because then I actually have something to show you rather than just showing everything in the medium tanks. Um, you could go over here in your medium tanks if you want to. Um, but let's now move on to the heavy tanks. Um, the first spot is down here on this kind of rock area. Um, if you do have okay gun depression then you can kind of like put yourself up here but the 277 doesn't have enough. Um, so you might as well just try and side scrape. Um, although 277 isn't the best for side scraping um, but you can just go along here and then you know just side scrape as and when you can and just back off if there's too many tanks um, the second spot is going to be along this bit here um, again the same thing you can side scrape here although you are defended from here but at the same time you're super exposed to anyone over this side so if they start flanking you're basically dead um, the best spot, in my opinion, is this spot here, um, because one, you're defended from behind, unless they try and get around and flank you, um, and you have lots of decent cover here, where you can just perk yourself up. This rock, you can shoot through, because Wargaming is amazing at um, texturing stuff, um, and you can then just kind of go hold down really effectively, like, that's all they're going to see. So, yeah. Good luck with that. So the IS-7 can work well here as well. Um, any hold down tank, super conk, you could even get away with. Um, although you might be a bit too slow to actually get to here. Um, but it works exactly the same for the other side. Just don't use um, this later on in the game if you're coming from this side. Because if you lost over here, then you're not going to be able to defend yourself because they're just going to flank around. But right at the start of the game, you could use this position. Um, the exact same for this side. This mound, later on, like from that side, you could use, or just get behind it. It's basically the same for both sides. Um, you get a very nice spot here that you can actually use, um, that I like to use a lot. Uh, you're super well defended. Um, as you can see, you'll basically just hold down uh, like that. So that's all that they're really gonna see is your turret. So that works really well. Um, same thing for this side, just do what you want to do. If you get overrun, you can move back to this spot here, or alternatively, you could just go into this bit and just try and hope for the best, because if you've got team behind you, then you can go into here and just kind of go a little bit sneaky um, and just try and survive. Um, but really use this as like a last resort to try and get a little bit more damage out of the game, because if you go in here, then you're basically saying that you're going to die um, because it's super hard to get out of and you are going to die in here so if you've still got a lot of health left go go back around um, if you if you know that you can make it out of here um, just go around and try and get behind this mound right there um, but if not then this is a nice spot to try and just bait some people out and get that one last shot in before you die um, but yeah that's basically it for heavy tanks. Um, I wouldn't recommend you go anywhere else in your heavy tanks. Um, 
just literally here. Um, you, if you have gun depression um, and have a very, very strong turret, then you can make use of this here um, and also this up here. Um, so exactly the same as where a light tank would go if you want to try and just get some early spots. Um, also, if you're in a light tank, don't go next to the heavy tank here, okay? Just don't. If, there, if you see a heavy tank that's sitting here and is hold down and doing well, and you're in the light tank and you try and go to this position here, just don't. Okay, I know I said that it's exactly the same for both sides for the light tank, but just don't. It's so annoying when you keep getting pushed by a light tank and you're in your heavy tank because it doesn't need to be here um, as much as the heavy tank does. Um, so yeah, that's it for heavy tanks. Let's now move on finally to the TDs. Okay, so for the TDs, uh, there's a few spots you can go to. The first spot that I'm going to show you is over here. Now, this is going to give you the best opportunity to shoot anyone that's crossing. Um, exactly the same, you just go to that window. Um, I'm not going to, you know, show you this because, honestly, if, if I went and showed you that right now, it would just be insulting your intelligence because you can literally see it. Um, you just come out there and just go to that window. Um, so yeah, exactly the same for the other side. You just go here, you wait, take some shots, pull back if you get spotted. Um, the only other so like kind of place that you can go to on this side of the map, um, honestly, I don't recommend anyone goes out here. Not unless you know that you can go around and try and flank. Um, there is no point of going over this side of the map here. Um, the other spot that you can go to is this spot here. You're going to need some good armor, so something like, you know, good old Bob can do it here. Um, and you can shoot anyone that's going uh, hold down in that spot there, um, which I will show you in a second. Um, but anyone that's around here, you can shoot at. Um, and just generally, you can just get some shots on people. Um, you can then back off and go back around here. But remember, you are super, like, kind of slow unless you're in a faster tank. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going here if you've got something that's really weakly armoured. Um, let's now quickly show you the other side because there's not really too many places that you can go. Okay, so from the other side is pretty simple. You just go into here and then there's two spots that you can go to. Now this is probably some of the best spots you can go on the TDs. Honestly, I'd prefer to spawn this side if I was in a TD because you get this spot here which you can go hold down on or just do whatever you want. Um, you've also got these pillars that you can kind of go behind to try and give you cover and also you can go over here which is pretty much the same deal so honestly TDs you go start off in this position here or this position here and then you could go around here although I don't recommend anyone going around here because it's just not worth it um, there's a few spots you can go to you can test out if you really want to over this side but I don't like going over here with TDs and I wouldn't recommend anyone to do so um, it's much easier for you to go into one of these spots here or just try and find another spot around the map that you know, that you know or that you've seen that you like um, but honestly this map for TDs not really like you can go to the hill and just hope for the best or you can go here this is a heavy tank map and nothing else really um, apart from medium tanks but then medium tanks can play on kind of any map in the game so yeah light tanks and TDs I block this map, um, it's not really worth it. Uh, you can have good games on it, but you need to have the correct tank for this map. And lightly armored TDs don't work. I mean, this this tank is just more of a heavy tank, so you can just bomb it down banana line anyway, so... Yeah. So yeah, that's Himmelsdorf. Not really the best for tank destroyers or light tanks, but there you go. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, then you're not to do. Come and join the Discord, because that's where we do all the voting for what map goes next. Um, so get amongst it. We got I think 69 members very nice uh, on the discord at the moment so uh, yeah hopefully we get a few more and we can come and vote for the next map um, there isn't too many maps I think there's only like 12 more maps that I need to do but yeah I'll see you in a bit